You don't deserve mastery camos. This has been a topic I've brought up several times in the past, but I think it's finally time this topic deserves its own dedicated video. Recently, Call of Duty has been throwing permabans to players over using unlock tools to obtain things like mastery camos, aka they are being banned for cheating. The whole ironic thing about this is that the mastery camos are no longer achievements for mastering the Call of Duty games. Rather, as it stands now, a mastery camo should more accurately be called a completionist camo since it requires playtime and checking a bunch of empty boxes. Or maybe a shipment grind camo since that's the map you're going to be using to unlock the far majority of camos extra fast and mindlessly all the way up to the mastery camo, which is interstellar in MW3. Now, it is funny to me that it is considered cheating when players are using unlock tools to unlock something as mind-numbingly easy to get as a mastery camo in modern COD. Again, like, <laughs> the challenges aren't challenging, and all you gotta do is sit in shipment for an hour per gun to unlock all of its gammas. The only barrier that I can see for Interstellar is just playtime, which is kind of a weird thing to get banned for, right? Evading playtime? If mastery camos were actually masteries, which is what I want them to be, then I could see why using an unlock tool is considered cheating. It would be like using AI art in art school. People are gonna see your gloriously stolen artwork, but if there's no way of telling if it was AI generated, then the other artists will be like, wow, this person must be very talented. Maybe I could learn a tip or two from them. But unfortunately, you won't be able to explain any techniques you used legitimately because it's not art you created. You won't know anything about the design process. A real and skilled artist would be able to tell you where they started, how they got to the end, what they learned before making the art piece, and any challenges along the way. In older CODs like Infinite Warfare, the mastery camos were skillful and I could tell you things like which weapons were the most challenging. The OSA, for example, has insanely high recoil for an assault rifle, so getting 25 long shots was extremely hard. I had this sit at the back of terminal, wait for enemies to cross the boarding platform, which that alone was not enough for me to get a kill. <laughs> no, 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 no. Since the recoil was so damn high, I would first send my built-in noob tubes downrange to hopefully damage the enemy just a little bit. If by chance I got a hit marker, I would finish them off with a few more bullets, hopefully before they ran away or dodged to cover. I also did things like run the VMC site zoomed in, because it makes idle sway go away, and it gives your weapon and overall, less recoil. It has probably been a year since I completed this challenge, but because this one was so damn hard to complete, it has stuck with me as a memory. Now, I, I still don't have Infinite Warfare's Mastery Camo Black Sky quite yet. I'm still three or so pistols away from getting it, but during IW's main life cycle, I was nowhere near unlocking Black Sky since I only stuck to the guns that I liked. I did not go for launcher and pistol camos either because it was a pick 10 game. Since I didn't think those two weapon types were that great, I saved my pick 10 slot for something else, like an extra perk, attachment, or equipment. The point I'll make out of my little tangent here is this. If I got the Black Sky camo for free, just by putting in playtime on a futuristic shipment map, I wouldn't have gotten the same experience I did back then up to now. The appreciation I had for players that unlocked Black Sky would have vanished. Instead of Black Sky being a camo earned only by players that really learned and enjoyed the game to the point that they became monstrously skilled veterans, instead of that, Black Sky would have just been as worthless as AI art. Something soulless and effortless to the point someone can generate it. Meaning is lost. It's visual candy. It's like an apple pie that your grandma did not make with love and care. Instead, she just bought it from a superstore because it was on sale and going to spoil soon. <laughs> so what is the value of a mastery camo if we allow systems like buying a mastery camo or maybe using unlock tools to obtain them? I don't think there really is a difference when it comes to modern CODs like Modern Warfare 3 2023. I don't see paying your way through to unlock a time grind shipment camo as cheating. If mastery camos should be grinded out on shipment through playtime, then who cares if others unlock them through easier methods. No one cares if you have a camo anymore but yourself. There's nothing to really gatekeep, unless it's something like old, skillful camos being resold to us in the store. That kind of stings. Like, see that totally new $100 cheetah camo from COD World War II being resold to us in MW3? <laughs> Gorge! I guess I'll keep buying it! <laughs> Yo, see that COD IW Black Sky Gear character running around in MW3? MW2 and MW3? I wonder what challenges they had to complete to unlock something so prestigious. It fucking sucks, man. 
It really fucking sucks! Anyone who has these now will get bullied by those that got them in the past. And if you're not sold on the Golden Cheetah camo or the Infinite Warfare Black Sky Gear in MW2 and 3, they've also done this with Damascus from 2019's Modern Warfare. They've just blatantly ripped the camo, upgraded it maybe a little bit, and resold it to us as a new weapon blueprint. It's just so disrespectful and an erasure of mastery camo culture. Mastery is mastery of the game, or at least it used to be. Okay, lastly, I just wanted to show you guys what some new COD players think, what their opinions are behind the current systems versus the older ones. Obviously, not every new player is gonna think this way, but there is most definitely a growing amount that do think this way. Alright guys, welcome to the realm of Twitter. I'm gonna read you guys the conversation first, and then we'll do a little deep dive right after. So, let's uh, get through this real fast. We had a post here by Charlie Intel that said, What's one thing that you hope to see in Treyarch's new Call of Duty game this year? I say, not a rushed game. No rematch mastered content, nor remakes. Scrap a nuke town at this point. Let's get a better one! Stays true to the multiplayer theme. A good looking mastery camo without a grind map 24-7. And this was basically my whole mastery camo take right here. Mastery camos should show skill, not playtime. Here we got our lovely comment that this video is addressing. <laughs> so from Mob, we got camo grind needs to stay identical to MW2 and MW3. Time equals camo. <laughs> If you lock it behind fluffing skill, then nobody would earn them. Fluff and simple, man. He also says here that 100 headshots is far too long. That's why the old camo system is complete to dog poo. And then I said, yo, sounds like you got bad aim. Cause guys, let's be realistic here. If you had good aim, it's not gonna take far too long. But no, 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 you're just uh, complaining over something that isn't broken, the current camo system works, no need to revert it to that one, yes, it worked, uh, took more than six hours to complete each weapon, including leveling up. So I said that you're the one here saying that there should be no skill, therefore a skillful system is different, and you just don't want actual effort put into unlocking anything, it's a you problem. No, it's not, he says, so many players enjoy this, and even if it did go back, Time equals camo. That's always how it was. No matter what you did, if you weren't aiming for the camo, it would unlock because naturally it unlock. Unless it was shit ops too. No way this guy's actually calling Black Ops 2 shit. Oh my god. Whoa, hot take alert. <laughs> I said just you must be trolling. But anyway, let's let's uh, look into this like a little bit here. So to address camo grind needs to stay identical to MW2 and MW3, time equals camo, and the whole if you unlock it behind fluffing skill, then nobody would earn them. If skill isn't a factor, then why not give them out off the bat for free? Why make the camo look good in the first place? Maybe, and just maybe, the good looking master camo is supposed to stand out amongst the rest, and that is the very incentive to go for it. To power through the actual challenging challenges. To show off your dedication and skills. The mindset of, if it requires effort and skill to unlock, it is not worth going for, is some of the most stereotypical, why should should I work in a modern society? I'm anti-work because everything should be automated and AI should take care of us like the robots in WALL-E. Garbage I've ever heard. And to be clear, video games should not be a job. However, competitive video games like COD, where people compete to be the best, are where rewards should be granted. You know? To reward those that are trying to get better and improve at the game. In fact, I personally think that Mastery Camos should have more tiers. Sort of like a ranked system, except there's no seasonal resets, nor an average skill rating to unlock a camo. What I mean by average skill rating is that if I can get 30 kills in a single match, I think that is enough to complete a challenge. I don't think my average kills per match should be actually 30 kills to unlock a camo. Rather, I think we should be rewarding the initial achievement instead of the true average skill rating because being extremely skilled at COD requires years of dedication to the franchise, especially for players that are new to first person shooters. Remember, we don't want COD to actually actually feel like a job. Even experienced COD veterans can still not get a grasp upon new features off the bat. Despite some people claiming that COD is the same game every year, Call of Duty just 
isn't. That's why fans are so split down the middle on Modern Warfare 2019. The jetpack games, long versus short time to kill, manual healing versus auto health regen. Even stuff like fast movement combined with a long time to kill can completely change how maps are played, as we've seen currently with the Modern Warfare 3 reboot, the one that featured all of OG MW2's maps. A state went from a camping building's paradise to a run around wherever you want because if you get shot at from one of these old power positions, you can just dive to the closest nearby cover, regenerate, and instantly challenge them for whoever has the better recoil control and accuracy over time. The OG MW2 estate had a much faster time to kill, so getting to cover wasn't an option after you got shot at. You're just dead. <laughs> so instead, you will have to camp in power positions or play smarter around the map when you move. How you navigate mattered more in MW2. That's why COD just isn't the same game every year. A small change isn't as small as you may think. Imagine Rainbow Six Siege 2, but without leaning and going prone. Imagine Fortnite, but your mats are limited to 10 per slot instead of 500. Imagine Minecraft, but the maps and coordinates never existed. These things can seem pretty small on a surface level, but they would completely change how the players play these games. In a world of Minecraft without a map, I'd be scared to leave my friends in case I never see them again. I'd be making more mental notes of where I am in the world instead of always relying on a map to get everywhere. If I want to travel far away from my base, I'd leave a path of torches behind me, but I don't really do that now that I have a map for every region. I don't bother leaving a trail of torches when I can just look up my home base's coordinates in relation to my new coordinates. Reduce one number, increase the other, and sure, following my torches isn't that thought-provoking either, but it's different from reading numbers. It's more organic. You become more attached to your world. It's less statistically business-focused, if you know what I mean. And if you're more attached to your Minecraft world, then you're less likely to start a new one right Away. No, I'm sorry for branching away from COD into the Minecraft realm, but to circle back, all you need to do is look at that no red dots by default system on Modern Warfare 2019's minimap. Players found a way to work around this new system. To do that, you learn how the compass operates. It's pretty fucking simple when I say it like that, but so many players missed out on this fundamental feature and wrote the game off as one of the worst. Instead, they had to blame their lack of learning new skills on inanimate objects like doors. No red dots on the minimap, and way too many windows on every map to possibly keep track of. In modern warfare, all these oh windows God, and doors dude, would be it. open. That would be a camping spot, 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 camping spot. And that would overlook a building over here. Camping oh spot, God. camping spot, camping spot, camping spot, camping myself. spot, camping spot, stream, camping spot, camping spot. Thing. Oh, oh, let's not forget about these camping spots <laughs> over here, which would all be fucking open. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta be an OG to remember this clip. And yeah, I say OG because Modern Warfare 2019 is almost six years old now. God, that's crazy. It's getting up there. It's really insane how much time has flown by. It's even crazy to me how many content creators have just fallen out of love with COD and how many actual players are devolving into this mindset of Give me shipment 24-7 so I can unlock every camo and mastery reward within a week. Back in Modern Warfare 2019, shipments blew up in popularity because of a sizable amount of players that did not want to learn the game's new mechanics after getting used to CODs like BO4 and World War II. So they demanded the 2v2 gunfight shipment map as a playable 6v6 map, which it wasn't designed for. That's why the shipment containers are no longer at an angle to prevent bad spawns. It was made for a one life 2v2 mode in MW2019, not 6v6 respawn. So if you're still wondering why they weren't at an angle, that is why. <laughs> and then in 2020, Warzone players also flocked over to Modern Warfare 2019 to complete weapon leveling since it was by far a faster way. And since they're looking for a faster way, than Warzone, why wouldn't they look for the fastest way within the multiplayer too? And you guessed it, they went to shipment 24-7. And even though Warzone had the same mastery camo challenges, why would people go for them when they are designed for multiplayer? <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know if you guys all know this, but the camo system in Warzone 1, and I believe Warzone 2 as well, is the exact same as the ones designed for a different mode, 6v6 multiplayer, where you are meant to get double kills, triple kills, squad feeds, and more, multiple times even, all within a 10 minute match or less. On the other hand, a Warzone match is about 20 minutes, and most solo players probably get zero to maybe three kills a game. In what way is that efficient for getting a silly little challenge done, like 30 
30 long shots with an SMG in Warzone. People never build an SMG for long range in Warzone because it's a pea shooter, especially with that Warzone longer time to kill and armor plates. To ask this challenge from a Warzone only player is a complete and utter joke. So what is to blame for this problem? Is it the player base? Is it the unfortunate inclusion of shipment that allows players to not learn the game, but still get the fake mastery rewards? Is it the poorly thought out Warzone weapon leveling in multiplayer? Maybe it's greed, because Activision saw that Warzone players were willing to spend 90 bucks on a new full price COD to have a slight advantage in Warzone. Perhaps it's due to this new generation of COD players that want to buy all their cosmetics like it's a free to play game such as Fortnite, and they feel entitled to anything that isn't an expensive bundle. A mastery camo is equivalent to an event skin for them. Whatever it may be, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on the mastery camos in the comments below. If you're also interested on why I think shipment ruined COD players, check out this video popping up on screen right now too. I really want to do a video on Nuketown as well, but we'll see when that happens. I'll see you guys in the next one. Drop a like. Peace out, homies.